Hello, and welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this example, we're going to demonstrate the spline options available for use in connector distributions. Now here I have a generic wing geometry that already contains a structured domain, and I have a leading edge distribution that I'm satisfied with. And I'm going to update the trailing edge distribution to better match the leading edge and therefore remove some of the grid skewness. First, uh, let's go ahead and examine the distribution on the leading edge. I'll set my entity mask to connectors, select the leading edge connector and choose grid distribute from the drop down menu. And on the spacings panel, we have a summary of the connector distribution. It tells us that both end spacings are constrained, meaning they have been explicitly set to a value, and it shows the average spacing. Now, if we go and select the spacing at the wing root, uh, the table again shows the spacing is constrained and it's set to a value of 50. And similarly at the tip, it is constrained to a value of 10. Now, when we go to the functions tab, we see that the connector is using a hyperbolic tangent distribution. Now, for this case, I'd like to have my streamwise grid lines be close to constant butt lines, so I'll need to update the trailing edge distribution. First, uh, let's examine the current distribution by selecting the trailing edge and again from the drop down, grid distribute. And we'll notice in the summary table that both spacings are unconstrained. And if we select the root spacing, we see it's a value of just over 19.6. And when we select the spacing at the tip, we have a same value. In fact, if we turn on our probe option and we move our cursor along the trailing edge, we see that the spacing is the same all along the connector. And when we go to the functions tab, the distribution function is the default hyperbolic tangent. So with no end constraints and a hyperbolic tangent, we get equal spacing. So to better match our leading edge distribution, we can use the copy from option. So I will check the checkbox and pointwise is now waiting for us to select the connector to copy from, in this case, the leading edge. Now, one thing to notice at this point is that the connector distribution has a direction. And if we look at our trailing edge connector, uh, we see that we have a triangle symbol at the tip, uh, which from the legend tells us this is the beginning. And at the root, there is a square indicating the end of the distribution. Now, on the leading edge connector, we see an arrowhead at the tip. This indicates that the distribution starts at the root and ends at the tip, which is opposite of the trailing edge connector. So we can click the reverse button to change the direction to match. And now I'm going to select the copy delta values. Now we can see that the connector distribution on the trailing edge has changed and we can select apply to update the domain. Now if we go back to the spacing tab, we see that both end spacings are now constrained. And if we select the root spacing, we see that it is now set to 50, and the tip spacing is set to 10. And if we go back to the functions tab, we see that the function distribution is hyperbolic tangent. See that the grid lines are straighter, but not exactly butt line aligned. So let's look at the other option and copy from. We again select the leading edge, and this time we're going to choose copy scale distribution. And the first thing we notice is that the spacing is larger at the tip and smaller at the root because we forgot to reverse the distribution. So let's go back to copy from, select the leading edge, and select reverse to reverse the distribution, and then click copy scale distribution. We can now see that the distribution is improved, and it's closer to constant but line distribution. And if we go back to the spacing tab, and we see that our root spacing is now set to just over 45. And our tip spacing is close to 9. When we go back to the functions tab, we see now that the distribution function has changed to general. So let's go back to copy from, uh, select the leading edge, first the distribution, and select copy scale distribution again. Now at this time, before we hit apply, let's open the spline option in the panel, and we see the default option of arc length. But the arc lengths of these two connectors are very different. So if we look at the drop down, 
We see besides arc length, we have the option to set the spline variable to be any of the coordinate direction. So let's turn on our coordinate axes, and we see that the y direction is in the spanwise direction. So we'll go to the drop down, and we'll change our spline variable to y. And what this is going to do is it's going to base that trailing edge distribution based on the y values of the leading edge. So now when we click apply, we see that we get the constant butt lines that we were looking for. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line down below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.